Hey, welcome to a new video. Over the years, fishing has developed into a beloved hobby and sport for countless people worldwide. Fishing often revolves around catching the biggest and most impressive fish. However, there are also moments when anglers encounter unexpected and frightening situations. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. While these fishermen are busy at their work, they suddenly encounter an enormous snake. Fortunately, help arrived quickly in the form of a team of experts. But this snake was no ordinary snake. It was a terrifying anaconda. Anacondas are one of the largest and most dangerous snakes in the world, capable of reaching lengths of up to 39 feet or 12 meters, and weighing up to 551 pounds or 250 kilograms. When the fishermen encountered the anaconda, the team of experts warned them to be careful and not to harm the snake. Armed only with a fishing net in their courageous hands, they went after the slippery beast and eventually managed to seize the head of the anaconda. Anacondas are known for constricting their prey to capture it. They wrap themselves around their prey and squeeze until the prey stops breathing. After capturing the anaconda, some brave men carried it back to the water and released it back into the wilderness. The black alligator gar is a species of freshwater fish native to North America. They have a long snout filled with sharp teeth, and their scales are thick and armor-like, providing protection from other predators. Two fishermen in Galveston, Texas had to contain their horror when the same area they had fished in their entire lives suddenly revealed a threatening-looking fish. The angler cast the bait into the river, and the fish grabbed it, going wild and revealing its true colors, pitch black. It was a black alligator gar, and this fish can grow over 9 feet or 3 meters long. Due to their size, they're highly predatory by nature. The most caught fish in the world are probably the anchovies and tuna. But if you suddenly get a goliath tiger fish on your fishing rod, you'll probably be shocked. It's the most dangerous fish in Africa and has huge teeth. It can grow to a size of 5 feet or 1.5 meters and weigh up to 155 pounds or 70 kilograms. That's reason enough to be scared of this fish, but not for Jeremy Wade. He's the host of River Monsters, who together with his friends went in search of this giant fish. The Goliath tiger fish is found mainly in the Congo River Basin, the Lualaba River, and Lake Umbemba in Africa. This fish even eats small crocodiles from time to time. In fact, it can do so easily because of its sharp knife-like teeth. In an African village, parents told their children stories about mysterious beings called water people. They said that you should never go to the beach alone, especially at night, or else you might encounter one of these creatures. Fortunately, someone dared to investigate what happened to the fishermen when they disappeared. Jeremy Wade, known for his show River Monsters, went in search of answers. The community believed that a mermaid named the Water Mama was responsible for the disappearances. Jeremy even met the widow of one of the missing fishermen, and she shared a heartbreaking story. Her husband had disappeared during an upstream journey but his boat was later found without him on board. According to her, the water mama was a person with a fish tail, long hair, and fair skin. Pretty creepy and mysterious, isn't it? A Father's Day fishing trip went terribly wrong when a monstrous creature disrupted their day. Meet the alligator snapping turtle. This turtle is enormous and predominantly found in North America. They're known for their powerful jaws and aggressive behavior. Three-year-old Lakeston Broomhall, who accompanied the fishing party, saw the turtle and compared it to a dinosaur. In the wild, they can live up to 50 years and prefer lakes, rivers, and swamps. The father who caught the turtle took a photo with it and then released it back into the river. However, this particular alligator snapping turtle was estimated to be 100 years old. Pretty incredible, isn't it? For fishermen, the barracuda is one of the fish that you should definitely watch out for. In fact, there are regular reports of jumping barracudas causing injuries to people. This is because they have powerful jaws and are also extremely fast. In the following video footage, we see a fisherman who is fishing with his friend somewhere in Florida. They're filming because they're fishing for a documentary. At one point, one of them has a bite and tries to get the fish in with all his strength. But what happens next, they didn't expect. A big barracuda, 5 feet or 1.5 meters long, suddenly jumped out of the water into their boat. Both men were startled and tried to stay away from the fish, because a barracuda is very strong and has piranha-like teeth. And you definitely want to watch out for that. Deep in the mysterious waters around Australia swam a terrifying creature without a face. It had no eyes and no mouth, but how could it survive, you might wonder? It's as if the faceless fish comes straight out of a scary movie, but no. This scary beast was discovered by brave explorers who dove deeper than ever before. It's also crazy to think that we know more about space than about the secrets hiding in the deep dark ocean. But this isn't even the first time such a scary fish has been found. Nope, this discovery is the second in history, and that's pretty scary. The first time scientists found a faceless fish was back in 1873. That was when a famous ship named the HMS Challenger encountered this strange fish somewhere near Papua New Guinea. Pretty spooky, right? 
It's easy to dismiss everything sailors used to say about seeing strange things in the dark of night. However, as you watch the video recorded in the woods, you'll catch a glimpse of their way of thinking. What do these guys see in the water? It seems to have spikes. It's dark and you'll wonder what its scientific name is. The only thing you care about at that moment is whether it can jump out of the water. What do you think they see in the river here? Diving into the mysterious tales of Japan, Jeremy Wade discovered a legend about a terrifying creature called the Kappa. This creature is said to reside deep in the rivers of Japan and terrify people. Villagers have been telling stories about the Kappa for centuries. And they're the kind that sends shivers down your spine. It seems that the Kappa is responsible for earthquakes and parents warn their children to stay away from the water. The Kappa is believed to lure people into the treacherous underwater world to do terrible things. The Kappa is believed to lure people into the treacherous underwater world to do terrible things to them, including removing their organs from their bodies. According to legend, the Kappa can even steal people's souls by grabbing their shiraka. According to legend, a Kappa can even steal people's soul. In the following video, we're introduced to another huge fish. It's the Itahata, also known as the Goliath Grouper, which can weigh 800 pounds or 455 kilograms and reach 9 feet or 2.8 meters high in length or 2.8 meters in length. Here we see Grayson Shepard spearfishing near an underwater shipwreck in Florida. But as soon as he caught a fish with his spear, a large goliath grouper came by and eventually grabbed his fish. Grayson started screaming and didn't like the fact that another fish was snatching his catch. As he continued to search and caught another fish, another large goliath grouper came and stole his catch and even dragged the man through the water with ease. The man himself weighed about 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. So the fact that this fish could just drag him along says a lot about these strong sea animals. The next story comes from a fisherman from Germany, who found ancient spears and fish, raising many questions. And he wasn't the only one, as multiple fishermen have noticed over the centuries that countless ancient spears were found in fish. Hans was a fisherman who grew up in the port of Sosnitz, and he reported that he worked on a boat from Bremerhaven, fishing for cod and haddock in the Baltic Sea. Everyone who grew up around the Baltic Sea knows that strange stories. Everyone who grew up around the Baltic Sea knows these strange stories, and they all felt like someone was watching them in the open waters. When Hans and his team passed through the Bornholm Basin area, they were pulling up nets when they found ancient spears in the fish again. During one of his next fishing trips, he brought a camera, originally intended to take pictures of whales. Instead, he took a photo of something crawling out of his net, resembling a mermaid or a creepy creature living in the ocean. The fisherman's theory is that this might have been the sea creature that made the ancient spears and even hunted the fish. What do you think? You never know when a prehistoric fish might wash up on the beach. This fish is compared to a Komodo dragon by some people on the internet. It was found by a jogger who took an alternative route to avoid a seal. At first, due to the scales, she thought it was a lizard. Others on the beach that day said it looked like something from the deep sea. The creature was about 5 feet or 1.5 meters long, shark-like but without fins, and had hard scales. Some people suggest it was a subspecies of a sturgeon, resembling what sturgeons looked like millions of years ago. In Melanesia, a region in the Pacific Ocean, boys undergo challenging initiation tests as they transition into adulthood. These tests are essential to earn the respect of their tribes and to be recognized as men within their communities. One of these tests is known as catching sharks with bare hands, a traditional practice where boys venture into the seas. This ancient technique showcases bravery, strength, and skill as they face the formidable predators of the sea. The process involves carefully approaching the shark, grabbing it by the fins or the tail, and wrestling with it until it can be safely brought ashore. Salem, a seasoned fisherman who has dedicated most of his life to shark fishing, serves as a mentor to the boys, although the younger generation may think he's getting too old to catch sharks. Each fisherman possesses their own unique techniques and secrets passed down from generation to generation. In addition to the bait Salem uses to lure the sharks, he employs various strategies to lead the shark into his lasso. When you're fishing, you're not only worried about your catch, but also whether there's other wild animals lurking around, especially in countries where animals live in the wild. So you may just find yourself in their hunting grounds. Three men were fishing on a motorboat on a small river in Tanzania. They seem to have caught something, but then this happens. Everyone was shocked and they thought this must have been a hippo. Hippos may look calm in the zoo, but in the wild they are considered one of the most dangerous animals. Not only because of their size, but also because they are very unpredictable. Imagine this. You're out in the Persian Gulf on a large ship, and suddenly you spot something floating in the water that you've never seen before. That's what happened to these fishermen somewhere in Africa. We don't often think about what happens to fish when they die. 
Do they get eaten by other fish? Do they simply disappear into the ocean? Or in cases like this, do their carcasses just float to the surface of the water? Unfortunately, we don't know what kind of sea creature this would have been. A whale, a colossal shark, or a prehistoric beast that had been propelled up from the depths of the ocean. It's also unknown what happened to it. No one on the ship dared to get close, so they didn't measure how big it was, but they estimated it to be about 33 feet, 10 meters long. Another interesting theory is that the sea creature may have been attacked by another sea monster, making it even more mysterious. When Yakut fishermen discovered a mammoth tooth, it seemed something straight out of the Ice Age movies. Thanks to these films, everyone's familiar with the mammoth, an extinct elephant-like mammal. These elephantine giants, covered with long hair and curved tusks, were known in Europe, Asia, and North America. The last group of woolly mammoths went extinct 10,000 years ago. The mammoth tooth found in the river is estimated to weigh over 110 pounds, or 50 kilograms. In an incredibly fortunate coincidence, a fisherman from Nebraska stumbled upon a fossilized fish in the Missouri River, believed to be approximately 90 million years old. This extraordinary discovery took place in August of 2022. During a fishing competition just west of Yankton, South Dakota, a man named Moore got the surprise of his life. Initially struggling during the competition, he found himself in a tight spot, when his line had got stuck on a rock. Determined to free his line, he paddled on his kayak further. Initially, he thought it was a skeleton of a large catfish, or even a deer, and decided to take pictures and share them online. Within minutes, his phone started buzzing incessantly with texts and calls, from people amazed by what they saw in the photos. They all said the same thing. Did you know that's a 90 million year old fossil in those photos? The man immediately reached out to a biologist from the US Army Corps of Engineers. After successfully locating the rock, a biologist confirmed that the fossil indeed resembled that of a prehistoric predatory fish, dating back up to 90 million years. Is this the kind of creature Christopher Columbus saw centuries ago? You can't blame the old sailors who hallucinated after days on the cold, lonely sea for mistaking a sea lion for a mermaid. Nowadays, there are many people on the internet who want to prove that mermaids actually exist. However, what we see in this video is not a skeleton of a sea lion. Could it have actually been the skeleton of a mermaid? Venturing into the Arctic region, the River Monsters team embarked on an expedition to investigate the mysterious Greenland shark. As they journeyed, they suddenly found themselves in an exciting predicament, assisting Simi, a local Inuit, in catching one of these elusive creatures. When they caught an enormous shark through a narrow hole in the ice, they faced the challenge of rescuing it. They realized the hole was too small and chopped away more ice. Simi understood how important this catch was, as the meat would feed his dogs for weeks. When the enormous shark finally emerged, they saw that it had a peculiar tail and teeth like chisels. Although sharp, they wondered if these teeth were powerful enough to kill. To feed Simi's dogs, the shark meat had to be cured because it was toxic. In the shark's stomach, they also found various items, including a halibut and a piece of fishing net. In this video filmed on the coast of Sosa Rock in California, we see some fishermen who became witnesses to something pretty terrifying. The divers who are in the water are filming a school of fish swimming by. But at one point, a giant humpback whale comes out of the water and almost swallows one of the divers. Of course, the whale only wanted to feed on the school of fish. Fortunately, the whale missed the diver and the man was okay. If the divers had known there was a whale nearby, they probably would have already rushed back to the boat. Humpback whales normally feed on krill, plankton, and small fish by gobbling up the water and filtering the food. Imagine you're on a boat trip and you see a creature with glowing eyes starting to chase your boat. This was filmed in southern Brazil. The video captures the exact moment when a mysterious sea creature begins to chase a boat in the middle of the night. With those terrifying glowing eyes, it's hard to believe the creature was after the fisherman. To the fisherman's horror, the creature repeatedly leaped out of the water. What kind of creature do you think this could have been? A group of fishermen in China experienced an unforgettable moment when they pulled up a colossal beast weighing half a ton from the depths of the Heilongjiang River. Chen Lin, the fortunate fisherman who hooked this colossal fish, needed the help of 11 friends to load it onto a stretcher and bring it ashore. With an incredible weight of 1360 pounds or 617 kilograms, this fish was a true heavyweight. The catch took place near the northeastern city of Tongjiang, bordering Russia. Although Chen declared this to be the largest fish he had ever seen, he was not the record holder for China's waters. That honor belonged to a giant sturgeon weighing a ton. However, the enormous Kaluga sturgeon completely filled Chen's boat, emphasizing its astonishing size. After the fish was pulled from the water, it was carefully transported to a local hatchery. 
The female sturgeon carried as many as 1.2 million eggs, which would be carefully collected and artificially fertilized before the young fish were released back into the river. Kaluga sturgeons, unique to the Heilongjiang Basin, are among the largest freshwater fish in the world and have been around for about 130 million years. Unfortunately, they are severely threatened by overfishing due to their valuable caviar. Believe it or not, these creatures prey on salmon and have even capsized boats and drowned fishermen. If that's not the hand of a mermaid, we don't want to know whose hand it is. Imagine this, you're in the middle of the ocean in the dead of night. Suddenly you get the frightening feeling that you're not completely alone. It's that instinctive reaction of old sailors who experienced the same things but had no way of reporting them. You look at the rippling water and this pale hand reaches out to grab you. And to which creature does this hand belong? It's unknown where this took place, but if the video's real, it's pretty creepy to think about what else might be lurking in our oceans. In November 2022, researchers discovered a stone fish trap on the ocean floor off the coast of Alaska, estimated to be over 11,000 years old. This finding, captured in a video, shows the moment when researchers encountered the oldest known stonefish trap covered in years of underwater debris. A team of scientists made the discovery during explorations in the southern southeast of Alaska. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reported that this stone fish trap is the oldest of its kind ever found worldwide. Before this discovery, the oldest known trap dated back to about 7,500 to 8,000 years ago. This discovery is significant not only for the fish trap itself, but also for research into early human habitation. Scientists are using artificial intelligence to explore ancient caves in the area, hoping to find evidence of early human presence. The identification of this stone fish trap in Shikan Bay, near Prince of Wales Island, pushes back the timeline of indigenous habitation in the region by more than 1,000 years. Tuna is the type of fish that is delicious due to its taste and high nutritional value. But did you know that they can also grow extremely large? Sometimes even larger than some sharks. The woman in this video couldn't believe her eyes when she caught a tuna weighing an incredible 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms. It's thought to be the Atlantic bluefin tuna, the largest tuna species that can grow up to 33 feet or 10 meters long. This young woman was skilled enough to catch one, as tuna fish are very fast and agile in the water. How much money would this tuna have fetched if it were sold? These two fishermen had the catch of a lifetime, but there was one problem, because the fish was attached to something and they had trouble bringing it in. Daniel is the one holding the fishing rod while his brother is behind the camera. At one point, Daniel decides to walk to the bank to see if he can bring in the fish. This he succeeded in doing, but out of nowhere there swam a saltwater crocodile that wanted to steal their catch. When Daniel's brother realized this, he shouted to them to run away. Unfortunately for them, the crocodile won the battle this time and they had not succeeded in catching another fish. Fortunately, at least, the boys were okay, because crocodiles can be very dangerous. During an adventurous fishing expedition in the Norwegian Sea, Roman Federtsov stumbled upon a bizarre-looking creature that captivated people's imagination. Roman, who has made strange discoveries before including an orange mushroom-like organism, an aggressive anglerfish, and even a donut-shaped catch, retrieved all these mysterious findings from the depths of the ocean. When he shared a photo of his latest catch online, his followers were filled with excitement, quickly dubbing it a baby dragon. Roman shared the enigmatic image on Instagram with his 646,000 followers, and the post garnered over 22,000 likes. Many people were baffled by the extraordinary appearance of the creature, with some likening the fish to chupacabras or noting that it resembled a mythical creature with two heads. However, the mysterious fish was later identified as a chimera, also known as a ghost shark. Chimeras are cartilaginous fish with a unique and otherworldly appearance, making them fascinating subjects for underwater exploration. You may have heard of dolphins trained by Navy SEALs, but have you ever heard of a whale that is a Russian spy? I can see you wondering, how can a whale be a spy? A beluga whale near Angoya, Norway was found with a harness around its neck bearing a label from St. Petersburg and a holder for a camera. It turned out that the Russian Navy indeed trains with beluga whales. After the harness was removed, the whale remained friendly towards people and played with them. Even if its spy status is unconfirmed, it may have escaped from whoever was holding it. In the world of fishing, where adventure lurks with every cast of the net, one thing is certain, you never know what you'll catch, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out. One day, as these fishermen reeled in their nets, they spotted a dark mass moving beneath the waves. It was much larger than they had expected, but its true identity remained a mystery. However, when they finally brought the net to the surface, they beheld the enormous sea creature in all of its glory. It was even bigger than what they had thought, and its coloration was striped and marked, almost like a living painting. 
In such a situation, however, you face an important choice. Do you take the fish for examination by experts, or do you return it to the sea where it belongs? Which would you choose? Scientists say that dragons are extinct, but this horned fish seems to resemble one quite closely. The dragon-like fish was found by a fisherman named Alexei Volkov in Siberia, in the Itrish River. According to the fisherman, it's a mutated fish, and the horns are the result of debris fuel from rockets. The fisherman found not just one, but two horned fish. The larger fish had two horns, and the smaller one had four, all of which were curved backward toward the tail. Believe it or not, the man preserved and dried the fish heads. In the depths of the Gulf of Aden in the Arabian Sea, a group of fishermen from Yemen stumbled upon a true treasure during their daily work. As they cast their nets, they came across something unexpected, the immense carcass of a whale. But what turned out to be the jackpot was the discovery of a huge lump of whale vomit, known as ambergris, weighing a whopping 280 pounds. The value of this find became apparent when they learned that it could be sold for over $150,000. Ambergris, also known as floating gold, is invaluable in the perfume industry for its ability to enhance and prolong fragrances. To protect their precious find, the fishermen had to take extreme measures. The storage facility where the ambergris was kept had to be guarded day and night by armed security to keep thieves at bay. So, while the whale itself was impressive, it was actually the precious discovery of ambergris that brought the real excitement. In ecology, a feeding frenzy is when a group of animals become extremely aggressive to capture and devour prey. A dramatic number of predator species become overwhelmed by the amount of prey available, causing them to go wild. This also leads to groups of solitary fish coming together. In the presence of this green underwater fish light, thousands of fish were attracted into an uncontrollable frenzy. Eventually, larger, stronger predatory fish came to investigate the event. You can't imagine how terrifying it would be to be in the middle of this madness. On a beach in the southern province of Krabi in Thailand, a local fisherman made an astonishing discovery in April 2023. There washed ashore a strange creature, with a body resembling that of a fish, but with an exceptionally large head resembling a cartoon character. With bulging eyes and a mouth full of sharp teeth, the head seemed completely out of place with the fish-like body, complete with a long tail and fins. Most striking were the long, slender arms with claw-like protrusions, a feature rarely seen in ordinary fish. The creature was about 13 feet long and had a scaled body covered in a slimy membrane. Curious and amazed, marine experts sent a team to examine the creature. Despite their efforts, they have yet to establish a definitive identification. Some speculate it could be a rare deep-sea fish that accidentally surfaced. Others suggest the intriguing possibility that it is a survivor of a prehistoric species. And then there are those who suggest it could be a result of genetic mutations caused by environmental pollution. According to most experts, red-bellied piranhas are the most aggressive and dangerous piranha species. In this video, we see a man attaching a chicken to a rope as live bait for the piranhas. As soon as he released the chicken into the water, thousands of piranhas descended upon it and managed to devour the chicken within seconds. Piranhas are known for their razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaw. The place where piranhas are most common is the Amazon River. Although there are stories circulating of people being eaten by piranhas, it's very rare. So if you decide to visit the Amazon River, be sure to be careful. Meet Sauce90, a TikToker from New Bedford, Massachusetts who explores the world of the sea and shares his fascinating encounters with mermaids. With hundreds of thousands of followers, he's built a significant fan base by documenting his adventures as a seasoned fisherman. In his most viewed videos, he claims to have personally seen mermaids and recorded their eerie sounds. He refers to these mysterious creatures as sirens, a fictional species that seduces sailors with their enchanting songs, causing ships to run aground on rocky shores. His videos are infused with a chilling, high-pitched screaming sound that some claim to hear his name. Here, take a listen. In another video, he claims to have captured a mermaid on camera as a colossal creature swims through the ocean with its long tail. Do you believe mermaids really exist? Let me know in the comments. Tired of brushing your teeth? Why not have a fish do it for you? It's probably one of the scariest moments you'll ever see. But in Dahab, Egypt, there is a place where a certain type of fish swims around that cleans your teeth. These waters in Egypt are known for their colorful corals and the beauty of the Red Sea. But if you accidentally open your mouth underwater, a fish might swim in to clean your teeth of any food residue. Some divers even feed them while diving. The cleaner Ross fish is a unique fish, and hippos especially enjoy these fish, as they eat everything on the skin, from algae to parasites. A group of fishermen from Russia had a terrifying encounter with a colossal giant squid one day. The sea creature, known for its monstrous size, emerged from the depths of the ocean. 
which is a rare moment that doesn't often occur. In a remarkable video, the squid is seen attempting to snatch some large fish as they are hoisted out of the sea onto a fishing boat. Faced with this unexpected danger, the fishermen used a long pole to fend off the squid and protect their catch. With a mix of tension and relief, they cheered as the squid eventually retreated back into the depths of the ocean. However, the giant squid remains a mysterious creature that finds its home in the deepest waters of the ocean and therefore is not often seen at the surface. With lengths of up to 39 feet or possibly even longer, they are among the largest invertebrate animals on Earth. Despite their imposing size, studying these creatures remains a challenge due to the inaccessible environment in which they live. Most of what we know about giant squids comes from carcasses washed up on beaches or from rare encounters like this one with fishermen. With their two tentacles equipped with sharp suckers at the end, giant squids grasp their prey. They then bring their prey to their powerful beak, where they tear it apart with their radula, a tongue-like organ with small, file-like teeth before swallowing it. The largest giant squid ever found measured an astounding 59 feet long and weighed nearly a ton. These divers thought there was a shark lurking in the water, but luckily there wasn't. It was just an orca and Toby, and the other divers seemed to enjoy the moment. Still, it must have been a frightening moment when they saw the fins sticking out of the water. Orcas hunt large marine mammals such as seals and dolphins, and can be unpredictable from time to time. It's basically safe to dive with them, but make sure you always keep an eye on them. In Alaska, for example, it was reported that orcas caused chaos among several fishermen. One fisherman said that groups of orcas chased their boat and stole their catch. Another event I found on the internet was when an orca chased a fishing boat for up to 18 hours. When going fishing with your father for the very first time, you probably wouldn't expect this next moment. The video starts rather normally, with a son teaching his father the basics of fishing. Almost immediately, a fish takes the bait, fiercely fighting to return to its watery home, when they pull it back up again, the heart of the average person would stop beating. For a look at how enormous this fish is. The province of Alberta boasts an impressive angling record for northern pike, with the largest catch being 45 inches long and weighing 37.5 pounds caught in Kehoe Lake in 1983. These pikes have the potential to grow even larger, with reports of individuals reaching weights of up to 49 pounds in Alberta. These northern pikes have distinctive features, with their elongated slender bodies equipped with sharp, sloping teeth and a flattened head. The predominant color on their backs and sides ranges from dark green to olive green, adorned with yellow to white spots. Remarkably, a small golden spot adorns the tip of most scales, giving the pike a fascinating mottled appearance. Although northern pikes can consume insects, they are primarily voracious predators that feed on fish and other vertebrates. In Portmore, St. Catherine in Jamaica, an entire bridge came to a standstill in awe, as apparently a huge crocodile was hiding underneath. Two men attempted to catch it. In Jamaica, crocodiles are a protected species and are considered endangered. So when they tried to capture it to prevent the public from getting harmed, they had the best intentions. However, a crocodile remains a crocodile, and it's dangerous to humans whenever you get too close. Fortunately, no one fell into the water, because just imagine what would have happened if the crocodile was still hiding under the bridge. A thigh fisherman named Desha had an unforgettable day when he caught something from the depths of the ocean. While fishing on a sunny day in November 2020, he suddenly pulled up a very special catch with as many as 20 long, crazy legs. This happened in southern Thailand. As Desha was sorting his catch, he saw the strange creature lying among the other fish and gently prodded it with a stick, almost as if he had discovered a hidden treasure. He then decided to take a picture of it with his phone and posted it online to ask people if they knew what the kind of creature was. Afterwards, Desha said he thought it was a branch until it started moving. Ultimately, the creature turned out to be a dark black feather star. These marvelous marine animals have tentacles with which they catch food, and they mainly eat plankton, usually residing on the ocean floor. Noodling of catfish is a fishing method that uses the bare hands. Yeah, you heard that right. Noodling is actually a traditional fishing method that is practiced a lot less these days, but not in Oklahoma. Here, there's even an annual contest for the largest catfish caught with noodling. Noodling is done by putting your own hand in holes in the riverbed. These catfish then bite your hand in self-defense, and this allows you to pull it out of its hole. This family of noodlers spent more than seven hours trying to catch a large catfish of about 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. Still, you have to be a daredevil for this, because catfish can get very big. In 2005, a catfish of 8 feet 10 inches or 2.7 meters long, weighing 661 pounds or 300 kilograms, was caught in the Mekong River in Thailand. Along the enchanting coasts of Indonesia, fisherman Abdullah Nuran experienced an incredible adventure. On a sunny day in February, while he and his brother were on a fishing expedition, they found a pregnant female shark in their trawl net. But what they discovered when they examined her was truly astonishing. 
When they opened the belly of the shark, they found not one, not two, but three baby sharks inside. Two of them resembled their mother, but the third was different. With its large round eyes beneath its nose, it looked exactly like the famous baby shark cartoon character. Proudly, Nern took the special baby shark home, where his family helped preserve it as a good luck charm. However, the news spread like a wildfire, and soon curious neighbors came by to catch a glimpse of this miraculous creature. Despite offers to buy the shark, he decided to keep it. Experts believe that this shark may have a congenital defect, a rare condition called partial cyclopia, where one fused eye socket is formed but with two separate eyes. Fire fishing sounds like a contradiction, two words that don't belong together. It's practiced in only one part of the world, the small harbor town of Jinshan in Taiwan. During the typhoon season, the emerald green waters are set on fire. The fishermen use sulfur-containing stones that create flammable gas, which ignites bamboo torches they hang at the back of their boats. Throughout the night and for up to 12 hours, the flaming light attracts thousands of sardines. The fishermen spend those hours gathering the fish in nets. Each year, the fire fishing festival is held, where tourist boats can observe the fire fishing boats. The next fisherman got the scare of his life when he was fishing in his kayak and suddenly a shark jumped out of the water and stole his catch. This man's name was Isaac, and what was supposed to be a peaceful morning of fishing became quite terrifying. After all, he was only in a small kayak, and fortunately, he didn't fall into the water. The fear could be seen on Isaac's face, but he managed to act quickly and released his catch back into the water. He posted his event on YouTube, and it was viewed over 13 million times. He even gave the shark a name, Chompy. Fortunately, Chompy was not a very large shark, but it might have been a different story if he encountered a 20-foot or 6-meter great white shark. Have you ever experienced a scary fishing moment? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.